today. I'm enjoying a relaxing morning. I'm gonna walk to get some fresh juice. It's a place I saw last night and I got some mangoes. Mangoes and guayabas and ice cream last night. But I'm gonna try their juice this morning. So this is near my house. This is a park here. A little bit of uh, rain this morning, but that's okay. It's not too much. It's how you say chippy chippy, <laughs> meaning it's sprinkling, I guess. <laughs> A new uh, vocabulary word I found. So this particular morning I went to the fruit place that I had found last night just to get some of the fresh juice that uh, I saw and they make it fresh every morning and it was a little bit more expensive in terms of price it was I think 60 pesos which is like three dollars but it was totally worth it for this green juice that I got and the fruit is really fresh like the, the freshest I've ever had in Monterrey this is my uh, front porch it's pretty cool it's right next to the park and it seems like they're doing some construction but it should be good to go pretty soon but I won't be here to witness it so I'll be already gone <laughs> you gotta love that mountain view in the morning in the background that never gets old <laughs> We then headed towards Mercado Juarez and it was in the center and the Uber ride costed about 94 pesos more or less. So you can probably see all that smoke over there. I don't know if they're exercising a demon or something but there's a lot of brujerias here which are like witch doctor shops. So it's pretty interesting. I've never actually gone inside of one you know to the back i don't know what they do so i don't need that kind of stuff So we can't forget about churros and this is churros rellenos which is filled with different types of filling like chocolate, tarjeta or caramel or other things. So yes, we did end up getting a pretty sizable spread and it was 5 tacos de trompo for 55 pesos. It's the red meat on the bottom left. So I'm leaving today, walking out from the apartment and this is the park. Gonna head to the Mercado Horace to get uh, some hats for, for a friend and then take off around 5 p.m and back to the states around 9 or 10 p.m. So what do you know, we found Merlin the wizard who had a box full of fortunes and this is just another view during the daytime of the same place yesterday around 11 or 12. This is a love hotel where you can rent like 2 hours for 100 or 150 pesos and back inside the Mercado Juarez you can see a bunch of different other stuff that you can buy. Um, 
you might have to watch out for the price but I think you can bargain with them and uh, you can see the variety and you can get pretty much almost anything. <laughs> As the sights and sounds of Monterrey, Mexico fade off the horizon, I always have a memory of what it used to be before the coronavirus. So places like the Paseo Santa Lucia, I remember the beautiful walks at night with the ferries and boats, and then also a place called La Estanzuela, which was a great hiking spot and a swimming hole on those hot summer days. So even though those places weren't here this time around, I'll still take back pieces of Monterrey with me, including some of the snacks like crispas and penguinos or the lemon flavored Oreos. When I got to the Monterrey airport, I had to take a temperature check and fill out a symptom survey before I could get in. I got past security pretty quickly and re-entered the US into Dallas, Texas. I used my global entry card, which took about 10 or 15 minutes. One thing I really like about Dallas Airport is that they had an amazing tram system and I enjoyed using it a lot. <laughs> so that's going to conclude my Monterrey trip. I leave you with a beautiful view of Cerro La Silla in Monterrey, Mexico. And I hope for the coronavirus to end soon so that we can all get back out there and see you on the open road. <laughs>